Welcome to the Branson Woodwind Shop. Rotary valves can be mysterious for many people, so I will show you how to take them apart. First you need to take off the valve caps so that you can get the rotors out. Then turn it over and the next thing to do is take off the strings. Unscrew the screw on the lever and then after you get that out, then you unscrew the screw on the rotor arm and pull that off. You can do that with the screwdriver and then you can pull it out. However, you do not need to get the string off to get the router out, but if you're going to replace the strings anyway, then pull them out first. Next, you unscrew the screw that holds in the rotor arm. Do not unscrew it all the way, just a couple turns. Then you take a rawhide mallet and tap on the screw, and that should loosen up two things. If you turn it over, you'll see the bearing. It should loosen up the bearing, and that should pop right out. And on this side, it should loosen up the stop arm. Stop arm will not come off because the screw is still in there, but it should loosen it up. So put your hand underneath to catch the bearing when it comes out. So the bearing has come off, and then the stop arm is loose, but it's still on there. Sometimes the rotor arm stays on there, but usually when you turn the screw and take the screw off, the rotor arm will come right off with it. Okay, the screw came out and the rotor arm came off. If the rotor arm does not come off when you take the screw off, there's a tool to get that out. This is a metal rod and I ground down one of the sides so that it can go inside the hole on the stop arm and it makes contact with the rotor. So what you do is hold on to that and tap the top with the rawhide mallet and then that should push the valve out of the stop arm. So put your hand underneath to catch the valve and there's the valve. If you're going to take the valve off without removing the string, then all you need to do is unscrew the rotor arm screw a little bit and tap on it with a rawhide mallet. And then there is the bearing. And then unscrew the screw the rest of the way. And sometimes you can just undo it by hand and just push it out. Other times you need to use the tool to do it, but usually you can just pull it out by hand. And then you have the valve. The valve is out, and then the rotor arm is still attached to the string. Then when you put it back together, you just turn the rotor arm around the string and put the valve up through the rotor arm. I have removed all the valves. Usually you do not need to remove the levers or the cork plates, but I'm going to remove everything because I need to work on the bearings of this instrument. If I were to pick up the instrument, all the levers would spring open, and these can do damage to the inside of the bow. Now I'm going to carefully open them up and watch to see if anything is going to scrape the inside of the tubing, and it is not, so we're okay. There's a hinge rod that goes through all of the levers, and if you pull that out, all of the levers will come out. I'm going to use the round nose plier to pull out the hinge rod and that will do no damage as I pull it out. As you pull it out, catch the levers one by one and then turn it over and pull out the other hinge rod. Now before you pull this out, you do have to get it back together and sometimes this is very hard to get back together so don't pull this off unless you have the tools to get this back together. And also be careful because this spring can hit you when it loosens up. The last thing to pull off are the cork plates and there are two screws holding those on. So loosen up those two screws and after you do that it should just slide right off. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos. Also, if you'd like to see the videos of the valves being repaired and me putting the valves back together, please look in the description below for links to those videos.